A special resource for families inside a closet at a local middle school. Students and staff are working together to supply food and clothes for anyone who needs them. Levin is here with how this all got started. Lev? Wait a minute, kid. It started as just a way to give back to the community, collecting items for people in need, but as it has blossomed into something more. Principal Qualey and the great staff in Woburn saw a need for this in-house. So as the saying goes, if you build it, they will come. It's a great resource for students and families in need at Daniel Joyce Middle School. With COVID, we realized how important it was and how in our community in Woburn, the need for the food and the clothing. For the fourth consecutive year, the Joyce Exchange is open for business. This is a quote unquote closet in the school that provides food, toiletries, clothing, and footwear, and it has been doing so since 2000. This year has been very popular. We've had a lot of kids come down here. Um, we've probably had to fill the racks a couple of different times so far this year. The struggle with food and clothing insecurity is tough among young adolescents. They need to feel welcomed when getting help. We kind of sell it like, hey, we're going to go shopping. Let's go check out all this fun stuff. And they come down and they're so happy and they're like, oh, I can take this. I'm like, yeah, it's yours. If you like it, you want it, put it in the bag and take it home. And it's not only the teachers and guidance counselors that are taking part. The students are helping as well. I'm so incredibly proud of my eighth grade students. It started with lessons on food and clothing insecurity and they we're very excited to get in here and beautify the space. It's a perfect place for help at a time of giving. I think it's important that, that the kids feel safe coming in here, that they have trusted adults that they know want to help them. We want to help our community and make sure that kids come to school feeling proud of what they're wearing and that they have um, some extra food on the table. Well, they're always helping the community at Daniel Joyce Middle School on number 14th. They have a free coats and family fun event. The school has collected over 200 coats. They're going to distribute the coats to any Joyce families in need. That event happens from 4 to 6, again, November 14th. That is next week, Wednesday. Because all these kids want to look good. It's, yes. it's you know, they're middle school. Yeah. High, it's just you want to yeah. look good. You got to have them looking good. Get their bellies full of food as well. And, and if the kids feel insecure, the school is the best place for them to be because they can get taken care of. That's so awesome.